and hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in the last video, I just partially went over the locate method. Or not the last video, in the, one of the last third videos, one of the way back videos. I went over the locate, but just very, 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 very briefly. Just showed you how to find a specific record and didn't really explain anything that much. So this time we are. We're going to search through this and try and find whatever we should find. In this case, I would like to find if there is a person called Diana. Let's go to search. So what we can do is we can just go with So the basic structure and then if tbl music dot locate now Dalphi oopsie now Dalphi already gives you everything it's going to do it's going to take the key field string the key value and the options and if you were me then or if you're like me you probably didn't understand what any of this means that's why I'm here to explain to you what all of that means. Now just take note that locate does return a boolean true or false. So that's why you don't need to go equals true or whatever. So first thing you want to do is you want to say where to search for it. So in this case, it's just search in learner name. Okay. Now that we have that, what next? Now it's just tell it what to search for. So we can, we want Diana. So D-I-A-N-A. -A. Right here we go. We search for Diana. And in the previous videos, I went up till here, you know, leaving this open and just showing you how to use this. Very simple. So let's first use like that before I continue. So let's try and do something here. Let's go learner found at, and then we just go and we try and get learner number. Let's wrap this into an int string just to convert it into its integer. And then we can also go here just add an else. Okay, so let's try and run this and just see if it works. So here is Diana. We say search. Learner found at seven. That is correct. Learner number is seven. Learner name. And let's just sort it just so we can get a little bit of, you know, just out of it. Search. Learner found at seven. Well, that's kind of true because learner number is seven. But anyways. So yeah, that is how you just do a very basic search. It is automatically set to case insensitive, but if you do, this is where these options comes in. This is basically to say if it's case sensitive or not. In this case, not, we can reset it's not case sensitive. We can say it's case insensitive, meaning if it has a small D, find it. If it has a big D, find it, no matter what this D is, in this case at least. And there's another thing you can add here, except for the making it case insensitive. You can go hello partial key. Now basically what partial key means is if I go dia, then it will see that Diana contains the three letters dia. See, found at seven, Diana. But without this, it will say learner not found. And that is mostly just because of safety measures. So if you want to make sure that a learner, in this case a learner, uh, gets found, even if it's not the full name, even if it's just a specific few letters of the name, then in this case, you can just go hello partial key. 
easy as that and you can use it for any of these fields how it doesn't matter but this is basically how you do a basic search you just say tbl the locate and it will ask for the column it will ask for what you want you can say if it should be case sensitive or insensitive and here this will just say if you have to if you can do that or if you need diana or you can just get diane it will return diana and if it finds it it will say it found it and at which um, item it found it at which at which key it found it i i, I didn't know what the name is right now at with whatever that is learn learner number it will return the learner number and if it doesn't find it it will say learner not found that's very basic but that is how you do a search easy as pie am i right Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed and understood and see you all in the next video.